I wanted to, to dedicate uh, this to three people. Uh, I wanted to first of all dedicate it to Bill Mollison, who is the co-founder of, of Permaculture. He was one of the people who first came up with an idea. I only ever saw him speaking in public one time in 1992, and he completely rewired my brain <laughs> to think in a completely different way. And he said, this is really serious. The situation is really serious. The only ethical thing to do is to put your time, your energy, your determination behind uh, putting this right. You don't need to study soil science for three years to know how to make good soil in your garden. Just go and, and, and start and do it now. And he gave me a kick in the back, which, was, which I'm still moving forward from, uh, from that. The second person uh, is my colleague, uh, ben Brangwin, who I uh, co-founded the Transition Network with uh, in 2007. We met with uh, another colleague, Peter, in a coffee shop in Bristol and we designed an organisation on the back of an envelope. And Ben is currently very sick and so I really want to sort of send uh, a lot of love and, uh, and good thoughts uh, to Ben at the moment because he's been really important to, to this work that we've all done. Uh, and the third person I wanted to dedicate it to, possibly rather strangely, is to Lou Reed. <laughs> because in the same way that, that Bill Mollison rewired my brain, uh, in one way, uh, the Velvet Underground did when I was about 15. And uh, the idea that anybody could, could be a musician, anybody could make beautiful music with two or three chords, I actually bought a, a quote from Lou Reed, which I really love. He said, one chord is fine, two chords are pushing it, three chords and you're into jazz. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so for me, I love that sense, of, we, we, we try to embody in transition that sense of, this really isn't that complicated. This starts in the places where we live, with the people around us, and an invitation to step up and to do extraordinary things. And I remember about seven years ago, I was invited by an organization in London who support social entrepreneurs. They rang me up and they said, you are a social entrepreneur. I said, am I? I didn't know that, thank you. <laughs> they said, please come to our meeting. We have, we have a meeting in a big office in London and tell us your idea, tell us what you are doing, and if we like your idea, we will, we will help you, we will give you support. So, so I went. I talked about transition for 15 minutes, and then there was a long silence. <laughs> and a man said, so what you have done is create a very, very powerful brand, and then given it away for free <laughs> to people all over the world, over whom you have absolutely no control. <laughs> I said, yeah, that's, that is basically what we have done here. <laughs> but it works. And it works because it, is, it has humility, it has compassion, it has a lot of trust built into it. And the scientists told us two weeks ago that one and a half degrees, keeping climate change below one and a half degrees is now, is now almost impossible. And staying below two degrees means no more fossil fuel exploration, no new, uh, no new production. And we can look at that and we can think, oh, that's really bad. Hmm. Or we can look at it as demanded so beautifully and say, this is a fantastic opportunity. I live in a country where the sociologists tell us we have an epidemic of loneliness. An epidemic of loneliness? What kind of economic model creates an epidemic of loneliness. <laughs> but the beautiful thing is that if we can work together as communities who really want to do things, with universities who want to play their role in reimagining the local economy and its future, working together with local governments, working together with business, we can turn this around and do something extraordinary, which is a win, 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 win outcome. We improve public health, we improve engagement, we get people involved. And all over the world we see it happening. And so I just want to finish with, 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 with a few thanks. I really want to thank Cyril uh, and Melanie because Deman uh, has been the most extraordinary uh, gift 
for those of us who have spent many years working in this direction, all of a sudden people go, oh, you're that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you're the guy with the 21 pound notes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's me. laughs> I'd like to thank, uh, to thank the university uh, here for this, for this award. It's, it's a real honor uh, to be recognized in this way. And I'd also like to thank all the people who are here tonight uh, who are doing transition uh, here in Belgium in 70 communities across this uh, country, creating wonderful new food systems, local, ec local economic systems, new energy models. They're already doing it, and I really salute the, the wonderful work that they're doing. Thank you all.